Earlier today, we got confirmation that we will be receiving another look at Gotham Knights tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. And while we don't know tons about what this update will entail, we do know that it will feature the characters Red Hood and Nightwing. I'm very excited to see what Warner Brothers Games Montreal has in store for us tomorrow. I can't wait to get another look at this game. The last time we saw it was actually at DC Fandom 2021. The time that we saw it before that was at its announcement at DC Fandom 2020. So we've really only seen this game twice up until now. The first look that we got at the game was very good, but also I think very jarring because a lot of us were expecting essentially another Batman Arkham game. And that was not at all what we ended up getting. Last year at DC Fandom 2021, I was a bit let down by the trailer, not because it wasn't a good trailer, it was. I just was hoping to see more gameplay, I was hoping to see more villains, and so I, I felt that the trailer was somewhat redundant, as I already knew that the Court of Owls were in the game, I already know, knew who the playable characters were, and so I didn't feel that that needed to be reiterated. Instead, back in 2021, I was hoping to see more of what I'm still hoping to see and, and what I hope they end up showing us tomorrow when they give us this update. But I remember hoping that they would show us more of this expansive Gotham City that they keep telling us about. They keep telling us that it is way bigger than what we saw in Arkham and that there's so much more to do and it, that it's so much more immersive and expansive. And I really want to see those features. I want to see what sets Gotham Knights apart from a game like Batman Arkham Knight. I also want to see a lot more of the story. I want to see what emotional journeys these characters are about to embark upon. We keep seeing that the Court of Owls are in the game. We keep seeing that Batman isn't in it. And I know that that's what they've led the marketing with. And yes, that's all interesting and it's new and it's things that haven't been done before. But I feel like the shell shock of all of the newness of this game has been very clearly stated. Again, the game was announced a year and a half ago, so I don't feel that they need to keep leading with that. I think it's time to start showing us what other villains are in the game, what other pieces of the story we can expect to play through, and what features we can expect to experience when free roaming in Gotham. So what can we realistically expect when we get this trailer or demo or whatever it is tomorrow? I, I wanted to take a brief minute to look at what I think we can expect to see realistically because I don't think that we can necessarily ask too much. Again, this is the first time that we're seeing the game in six months. I do think that this will be them kicking off marketing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we also see the game at Summer Games Fest next month. So I do feel that this game will start to develop a much larger presence in the industry. And again, the game is launching this October, so that would make a lot of sense if that is the case. So first of all, again, we do know that Nightwing and Red Hood will be featured in this, and I think that that is indicative that this will likely be a demo rather than just a trailer. And if that is the case, then I do feel that we can expect a 10 to 15 minute presentation as opposed to a two to three minute one. And that will give them a lot more time to really flesh out some of the mechanics, some of the combat, some of the exploration and traversal, some of the puzzle gameplay perhaps. And it might even give them time to give us a look at a new villain for the game. Maybe they'll do what they did for Batgirl and Robin, where they showed us a clip of them going up against Mr. Freeze. Maybe we'll get to see Red Hood and Nightwing going up against Black Mask or Hush or really any number of Batman's rogues gallery. One thing that I will warn people as they start viewing this demo or trailer or whatever it is tomorrow is just something that I've been burned with in the past, but I would not set expectations too terribly high for what we're going to see with Gotham Knights tomorrow. I do think that there's a good chance that we'll get a look at a new villain from the game, whether it's Two-Face or Poison Ivy or Bane or whoever. I think that that's very possible. I think that we'll see gameplay uh, potentially hand-to-hand -hand combat and also a bit of stealth for Red Hood and Nightwing. We'll get to see some of the banter. We'll maybe see a cut scene for them. We'll, we'll, I think that we're going to get a pretty good look at the game, but again, it's not going to be longer than 10 to 15 minutes. We're not going to get like a huge chunk of the game tomorrow. We're, we're going to get a sneak peek or a look at it and it will give us an idea of what the product is, but again, we're not going to be getting a fire hose of information for Gotham Knights. I think that it is pretty safe to assume that it's going to be a similar update to the ones that we've received. It would be nice if they also announced pre-orders and let us start pre-ordering the game, but that could also very easily be at Summer Games Fest or at another point when they give us another look at the game down the road. What I'll leave this video on is that I'm just really excited to see what the game looks like. The last time that we saw uninterrupted gameplay for Gotham Knights, like a good look 
at what the game looks like was back in 2020 when they announced the game and gave us that seven minute long demo of Batgirl and Robin taking on Mr. Freeze. And so this is now like a year and a half later that we're finally seeing the game again. I guess even technically longer than that because when we saw that it was August of 2020 and we're to April, no, we're to May, we're to May of 2022. So this is a game that has now been in the works for almost two more years since we saw it last. And so it will be interesting to see what the graphics look like. It will be interesting to see what the gameplay looks like, to see if they've changed the, the HUD of the game, if they've changed the character designs at all, if they've changed the feel of combat, and it, it, I don't know. I know that it was somewhat controversial. Most people were excited for the game when it was announced, and they have been since then. But there was a bit of controversy at the game's looter shooter slash RPG heavy features. And so I will be interested to see if they've quelled those a bit and addressed those, or if they've just leaned in very heavily to them. Either way, I'm very excited for the game, and I can't wait to see what they have to show for us tomorrow morning. I will see you guys then. I will be making a video. I won't be able to go live because I'm at work, so I'll have customers coming in and out of where I work, but I, I should be able to record a video during the day. But anyways, thanks you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, let me know what you guys are hoping to see in this update tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one.